For the first time in Grenada's history, local poultry farmers are on their way to producing their own feed thanks to the establishment of the plant, protein from waste and local crops. Through the ICAS Project's Community Climate Change Adaptation Fund, the recycling plant located in Perseverance, St. George, was set up by engineer James Aronson to convert some of Grenada's waste into poultry feed while reducing the carbon footprint. The Recycling and Sustainable Livelihoods Development Project was officially launched at the PFW plant on Tuesday, September 13, 2016. We recycle 15% of Grenada's worst pollution problem, waste motor oil, which gets spilled on the land and the sea because there's no place in Grenada to dispose of it. We use it as a fuel, a clean burning fuel. We prevent a million pounds per year of noxious organic waste from going into our landfill and outgassing methane, a greenhouse gas that is 25 times more harmful to the environment than CO2. We reduce imports of food, feed, and fuel while strengthening our food security. Waste fish and grain or cooked to produce poultry feed with high protein content that has been proven to grow birds that are 11% heavier with less mortality. The project has provided jobs and helped form the Protein from Waste Cooperative Society, made up of local poultry farmers who will manufacture their own feed at the plant. Talk about the benefits that could be derived from a project like that. We need the media to talk, to to bring it out to the communities so that other, they could be replicated. We also need the, the farmers out there to know about this project so their waste can be transported here so that we can utilize the waste in the problem. It's the number one project. We don't have a project like that in the Caribbean or even in the world. And Grenada again, a first. The PFW plant is hailed as a model sustainable livelihoods climate change adaptation project as it promotes food security while addressing issues of unemployment and pollution. At the end of the implementation of this project, I trust that others will see the need and the importance of finding alternative and constructive use for the waste materials that's being generated by us Canadians. The ICAS project is part of the International Climate Change Initiative funded by the German government to assist Grenada to adapt to climate change.